Hello, I'm Dr. Curtis Russell, and I'm a Senior Program Specialist at Public Health Ontario within the Enteric Zoonotic and Vector-Borne Diseases Unit. Today I'll be showing you the basics how to conduct tick dragging in a woodland forest. Today is an example of a forest that we might want to use, usually it'd be a mixed deciduous or deciduous forest, and I'll show you the basic equipment that we'll be using today. For example, the first part is usually you need a pole or some kind of long piece of tubing. Here I've just used a PVC piping that I bought at a hardware store. I have then attached just a piece of nylon rope to it. This will be the main apparatus that you'll be using to drag through the forest today. From this piece of pole, you then get what we call diaper flannel. It doesn't have to be diaper flannel, even though this is ideal. You can also use any white cotton type of material. This is usually around a meter square. You will then use duct tape or other kind of material and you will then tape it to the pole. This is what we will then use to drag through the environment. What you're trying to look for usually is like a trail kind of system and that will be your guide as where you're moving through the forest. About every 50 paces or so, you would then stop and take a look at your drag to see what's on it. A big thing to note is look at both sides of the drag because even if you're dragging on that ground surface, sometimes the ticks will also be on the top side. When you're looking at the drag, if you do not have a magnifying glass with you, it doesn't hurt to get very close because the immatures, if they're on there, they are quite small and they will be hard to see. So this then, looking closely, do a systematic review of the entire drag looking for those ticks. As you notice on the one that I have here, I went through a patch of burr so it has gotten quite dirty and can make it hard to see. So that's why when you're out, it doesn't hurt to bring extra material with you. If it gets too dirty, too damaged, when you go to the next site, you can then use another piece of material. Same thing too, if you're in areas that you're not sure if there's ticks there or not, I always recommend using a new piece of material for every new site. That way, if you go to a new site, you know if you found something, it's off of that site and it wasn't one you missed from the previous site. Another big thing when you're out tick dragging is how to collect the ticks when you pull them off the drag. The thing that I prefer to use is what we call snap cap vials. Simple vials, you can buy them at most scientific supply stores and they just have a little cap that pops off and then pops back on. When you're in the field, what I suggest is you take a knife and you cut an X into the top of it. That X now makes a very easy method for when you have the ticks to put them in. So once you pull the tick off, don't worry, they're very hardy, you can't hurt them. Take the tick off and you just shove it through the X, close it up and you keep going along with your drag. Mm -hmm. 